beautiful Australia right now and we are here for the iPhone 7 launch and the iPhone 7 Plus but right behind me is the beautiful Bondi Beach and hopefully you guys can enjoy it but we are here for a particular purpose and these cameras are probably ready to show you that we're here to drop the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus it's Joshua Vergara from Tab Times what's going on everybody and we're here to drop these two lovely phones let's do this You guys know how it goes. We're gonna be dropping it onto its back, onto one of its sides, typically its bottom. And then of course, we're gonna drop it onto its face. And that's usually where we find some pretty big damage. Now, before we drop the iPhone 7, I just want to show you that it is a fully operational device. You have this brand new home button on the bottom that provides haptic feedback. And well, at least for me, it feels a little bit weird, but that is the rose gold edition of the iPhone 7. I just wanna show you that it is an operational device and we are going to be recording the drop on the, camera of the phone as we drop it. So you'll be able to see that perspective as well. There you go. iPhone 7 drop test onto its back. First test dropping in three, two, and one. Ow. You just hate to see that or hear it rather. Well, the camera's still recording, so that's already a good sign. And we're gonna go ahead and lift it up. Not really any scuffs so far feud here on the side, the camera is still intact and it is still recording. So you can see me right now, but I'll go up to this angle and I'll show you the actual damage. So those are the only scuffs that we've gotten so far on this test. Obviously it fell very flat on its back. So there are going to be a couple of scratches, but in holding the device, it doesn't feel any different at all. It still feels like the good old iPhone seven. I thought something bad happened, but no, it is still operational and I will prove it by hitting record on the front camera because we're about to do our second test dropping it onto its side typically onto its bottom just like this so you're gonna see me now and then in three two one bye bye all right well the antenna lines on the top and bottom of the iphone 7 are a little bit different so you see some plastic there it basically landed onto there and Yes, it did land face down, but we're gonna bring it up. Everything looks fine. You can still see me right now. The camera is still rolling and more scratches on the bottom. Again, nothing to really get all that worried about. And there you go, the scratches on the bottom. And it landed not necessarily completely onto its side the way that I wanted to, but you can still see where it landed and thus you have those scratches. Camera should be rolling. Final test, maybe of the iPhone 7, dropping in three, two, and one. Wow. <laughs> that was actually a really good drop and it bounced a lot, but no damage at all. The screen held up. I don't see any scratches or even on this so far, and it definitely did not shatter. So there you go. The iPhone 7 survived our first traditional drop test so far. We'll probably up the ante in a little bit, but we're gonna move on to the next one. Let me show you in this angle up here. Still operational. This is still a fully functional device. No issues with the screen whatsoever, even though we dropped it onto its face. And that's usually when we get some cracked screens. Upon further inspection, the camera on the back of the iPhone 7 did actually crack. It was a small hairline crack that did not go over the optics. So that's not really a big deal for that phone. Thankfully, camera, pictures and photos, videos, everything will still look good. But you have two cameras on the back of this. So if that happens here, we might have more of a problem. 1x, 2x, 1x, 2x, 1x, 2x. Yeah, there is a wide angle lens on here now, so we are going to use that as we drop it onto its back. So you're gonna see it actually hit the floor. Hitting record on here right now, first test onto its back. Dropping in three, two, and one. Still recording. Ah. All right, it did bounce up a little bit, but it's still recording. No cracks on the screen. And hey, and it looks like I did get a small crack onto the camera, but we're going to see if it actually makes a difference. No, it doesn't look like it so far, but we'll take a look at the video footage later, but I'll show you that crack up there. 
So there is a look at the small crack that seems to have gotten on top of the wide angle lens. Now, whether or not that's going to change the video that you're seeing right now is something we'll have to check after this test is over. But yeah, that is the crack and the damage we were able to do onto the phone so far. Phone is still operational, as you saw, as the camera was still rolling. Now, front camera for this one, as we do the side test. Hit record on here, and our next test is coming up right now. Dropping it right onto its bottom once again in three, two, one, bye-bye. All right, so uh, pretty square this time with its drop onto the bottom. Not looking at the screen yet. Got a nice good scuff on the bottom right next to one of the speakers. So that's some of the damage on there. Still the metal body is doing a good job and the screen is fully intact. Still recording, hey. So let's take a look at it. And there's your scuff. It's a pretty good one too. Actually feels like the metal is no longer smooth. It's right next to that speaker, one of the two speakers on the bottom, or rather two speaker grills. But yeah, so far so good. Metal body's still holding up well for the iPhones. Look at that beautiful Australian sky as it gets bigger because I'm dropping this in three, two, and one. Ooh. We can only really hope for the best this time. All right, so nice flat drop. It didn't even bounce at all. That's usually not a good sign. So. Hello to the hopefully camera recording still, and look at that, the screen's perfectly fine. Let's take a closer look. Okay, the brightness outside makes it so that you can't easily see that the screen is perfectly on, but you can tell that it is not cracked or even scratched for that matter, and I just stopped the recording, went back to the home screen, and everything is peachy king. Everything is looking just fine. This is a fully operational device, no cracked screens whatsoever. So even after that drop that fell solidly onto its face, no problems for the iPhone 7 Plus. All right, we kept all the cameras the same. I'm just kneeling down here to show you guys the surface that we're using. Ow, that's not hollow at all. <laughs> and it's definitely a hard surface. I just wanna make sure you guys know we're dropping this on some pretty hard surfaces. So we're gonna do our second tier test now where we drop it from about seven feet up with the help of one of our colleagues, Chris Carlin. We're not really trying our hardest to break these phones, but Chris Carlin, come on over. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and drop it from an even higher height. You can see how much taller he is than me too. And you're not even just gonna drop it from here. You're gonna be dropping it from way up here. So, why don't we go ahead and do that? I'm gonna hit record on the camera of the iPhone 7, and let's do this. All right, reaching far up, let's do this. Dropping onto its back from a higher height, the iPhone 7 in three, two, and one. Not one of your best drops, Chris. <laughs> but we got a pretty spectacular looking shot still. I wonder if the camera's still rolling, but let's take a look. Mm -hmm. And camera's still fine. And so is the screen. So everything is still looking good for the iPhone 7 so far. Let's take a closer look. All right, we got one good scuff on the bottom, mostly because it did not land flat the way that we were hoping, but that's okay. But that is the scuff that you have here, making it so that the bottom portion next to the speaker is not all that smooth anymore. Do it right this time. Do it right. Do it right this time. All right, come on over to my side right, right there. All right, camera's recording. It's really tall, but yes, that will be the next drop for the iPhone 7, dropping it onto its side in three, two, and one. All right. I think it did land pretty squarely on the bottom. So let's take a look at that first. More scratches, more scuffs. Screen. Still fine, camera, still rolling, still fine. There is one quirky thing though. Every time we drop the iPhone 7 and it's recording, I can't stop the recording unless I go back to home. Not a big deal, but just something I would mention. Final drop for the iPhone 7, this is the last one. In three, two, and one. I love it when it bounces because it gets a really nice like slow-mo shot. <laughs> so. The camera's still rolling. Hey, everybody. Coming on down and taking a look at the screen, which is intact. Everything is still looking good. All right, like I mentioned before, it is one little quirk that after we drop this phone, I can't press stop to stop the recording. I gotta go to home because of the haptic feedback home button. 
But as you can see, everything is fine. I'm still able to use it and I can always go back into the camera like I'm doing right now, hit record and everything is still dandy. So the iPhone 7 so far, well not so far because that was a final test, survived our two tier drop test. Yeah, that's the only reason why we brought you. So, <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and record on here. Good front. Front camera. Hey, there you go. And we're dropping it in three, two, and one. Oof. That one did bounce, but it's a higher height. Oh okay, wait, front camera we used, right? So front camera, so far it looks good. No scuffs. Oh no, we got one on the top here, but I'll show you that in a second. And the screen is fine. Hey everybody. All right, let's take a look at the scuff on the back that just formed. Now, like I mentioned, the antenna lines are on the top and bottom, so that's where some of the plastic is, and now we have a scuff around that area. I don't know if that's going to cause the antennas to not work or malfunction in any way. That's something we'll probably test as we continue to use this phone, of course, if it doesn't break. Side, bottom, whatever you want. Three, two, one. It's windy, yeah. It is windy. <laughs> It is windy, so it did not land squarely on the bottom, but that's okay, because life is random. You never know how something's going to fall. That said, however, a lot more scratches on the bottom, which I'll show you in a second, and the screen, still okay. Hey, everybody. I keep saying hi to you every single time I look in this camera. Anyway, let's take a look at the scratches on the bottom. Well, it doesn't really change the look all that much. Things are still okay. Metal body is still holding up, and the screen, as you can see here, it's still good. And it's still holding up. We're really surprised, to be honest. But Chris Carlin, let's see if you can break this phone. Did I say that? Maybe you guys didn't want to hear that. But we're gonna try to break this phone. All right, with beautiful Bondi Beach behind us, we're doing the final test on the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus from a higher height in three, two, one. Dang. So if I drop the iPhone 7 from my height, it bounces, and you need to drop it if we want the iPhone 7 Plus to bounce. Rear camera, you still doing okay? Let's take a look. Well, screen's fine. It looks like these phones are pretty good at standing up to our drop test, despite the hard surface that we are dropping them on and the unbearable sun. But let's take a look at what might've happened. Camera's still operational, everything is fine, and the screen is still intact. Everything is good. Pressing onto the screen, turning off the recording, and going back to the home screens, Everything is perfectly fine, no damage. That would really make you want to replace your phone on these iPhone 7 and 7 Plus phones. Well, we dropped them from two different heights. The traditional test, which is my height, and then Chris Carlin dropped them from over seven feet. And the phones are still perfectly fine. The screens did not break like we kind of expected them to. And to be honest, it's a little bit surprising that these phones were able to survive all of those drops. Does that mean these phones are actually really durable? Well, we'll leave that up to you to decide. But nonetheless, that is your drop test for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. You can stay tuned to Tab Times for all of the coverage of both of these phones, comparisons, how-tos, reviews, all of them. So you can stay tuned here and subscribe if you haven't already. For you Android Authority fans, I actually do have something for you guys. If you head on over to Android Authority's YouTube channel, I will be doing a Samsung Galaxy Note 7 drop test as well. Pretty much right now. So head on over there and you can watch that as well and subscribe to that channel if you haven't already. But once you're done with all of that, bring it on back to Tab Times because Tab Times is all tech, all the time.